In they come. Coming in from well back, down at the bottom of the home straight. Short run to the first of the eight schedule flights. They're off for the Unibet Greatwood hurdle. And among those prominent on the run to the first, the white face Cam Prond in the center. Last year's runner-up, Bally Andy in a red and white jacket is also prominent, and so too Botox has in the white silks. They've all got safely over the opening flight. No ordinary Joe in the hoops with a star on the cap. He's pulling very hard in the early part of the race, and he's tugging his way alongside owner-mate Cam Prond as they make the long run between flights one and two. Uh, towards the near side, Mick Maestro with the check sleeves is prominent with Mount Windsor in the pink and black. Roland Ward in a black jacket on the inner alongside Botox Haas. And then uh, West Cork in the black and white. Jesse Evans about three lengths off the lead. Red Soaks with the white stars on the sleeves in about seventh position as they take flight two, which they all get over neatly enough. Boa Boy is the early back marker. So turning to meet rising ground, no ordinary Joe has tugged his way into the lead from Cam Prond, Mick Maestro, wide of Mount Windsor. Botox House in a white and green jacket is a close fifth, followed by Roland Ward and then West Cork and Jesse Evans to try tonic the white sleeves. The nose bandit glory and fortune is racing wide of Adagio, who's in a striped sleeve jacket. Advanced Virgo in the white and blue spots is buried away towards the inside as they swing off down the hill, being followed by Tudor City. Then the grey straw fan jack to the mares. Marie's Rock in the pearl blue wide and Galice Macalo in the orange down on the inner. Cormier, Paddy Bren in the red cap towards the rear of the field as they go out over the third with Boa Boy. And Bally Andy, who jumped off handily, has dropped right back to be uh, last of all here under Sam Twist and Davis. Last of the 19 strong field as they approach halfway in the Unibet Greatwood hurdle. So no ordinary Joe and Nico de Boinville. The star on the cap leading them to the fourth with Camper on the white face down towards the near side, followed there by Roland Ward. Mick Maestro, the check sleeves, is racing out a little wider, but he's very prominent with Mount Windsor, followed by Jesse Evans in the red and white, and then West Cork, who hurdled that fluently. Once again, Bally Andy was the last one to touch down, and they're racing across the top of the track and heading on towards the fifth, and there'd be little more than 10 lengths covering the field. So up ahead, it is still the keen going, no ordinary Joe to Mick Maestro, Mount Windsor, Camper on the white cap on the inner rising. Then Jesse Evans, Adagio with the stripes leaves a bit closer. Cormier in behind was uh, jumping into the back of horses there. Botox Haas has completely lost his position. He's being pushed along. Bally Andy's being chivied along in rear. Maurice Rock and Galice McCullo in the orange jacket are also out the back. Roland Ward is losing ground as they begin to free will down the hill towards the third last. No ordinary Joe to Mount Windsor in the black and pink. Mick Maestro wide with West Cork in the black and white. Adagio mid-pack. Jesse Evans in a red jacket. Right down on the inside. Still very prominent. The white-faced Cameron as they cross the third last. But he stepped at that. Kicked it half to the ground. Advanced Virgo in the white and blue spots is making progress to them. Tritonic red cap trying to get into it as well as they run towards the second last. It's no ordinary Joe from Cameron. Adagio, Mick Maestro, West Cork, Jesse Evans. Advanced Virgo is still closing in. Mount Windsor retreating. Glory and Fortune driven trying to close alongside Tritonic and they now begin the swing for home with a quarter mile to travel and one to jump West Cork in the black and white moving up to have a crack at no ordinary Joe they lock horns on the run down towards the last they've opened up by a couple of lengths from Camprond and Adagio with a striped sleeves West Cork at the last perhaps by a whisker from no ordinary Joe Adagio delivered by Tom Scudamore between horses West Cork Adagio they come close together no ordinary Joe fighting on Camprond is back in fourth, West Cork narrowly from Adagio, shadows the post to the Greatwood, what a day for the Skelsons, West Cork back from a layoff and back with a bang, sees off Adagio and no ordinary Joe, Campron was in fourth, Tritonic, Glory and Fortune and Marie's Rock were in behind them.